Good morning, guys. Trust that you've all had a fantastic week and you've been really good. Today, I'm going to be speaking about the Word of God and how we can learn to remember it, different ways that we can find that we can do in order to remember the Word of God. Over here, if you look over here, you'll see that I've made a bookmark and on it I've placed the scripture and a picture and it says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. This will act as a reminder and remind you of God's word. In, you can use it in everyday things. Use it in your Bible, use it in your school books, use it in your reading books, and it'll always remind you that you should praise God. Then I've got some stones here, and as you can see, I've written some scriptures on there. So that will remind you of that scripture and what it says. And you can do this with mom and dad. You can go look up the scriptures, find some rocks, paint them, and write the scriptures on them as well as what they mean and study them and learn what does God really say. He says, be kind, be obedient to your parents. Colossians 3 verse 20. Matthew 5 verse 14. Let your light shine because Jesus lives in you. And then Psalm 138 says we should praise the Lord. Then you can also make a sign that you, you could put it in a passage that will remind you. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 3, whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. Remember that your hands and your feet and everything was created by God and you should glorify him in everything that you do. You could even take and make a little flag that you could stick in a plant and what you could do is you can get mom and dad if they've got a glass bottle for maybe the peanut butter that's left over or jam or something, even a tin, and you can paint it and you can stick stickers on it and get really creative. And then you can make a flag that goes in there that you can look at every day. This one says, Philippians 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. These are constant reminders of the word of God. And yeah, you can see on the jar, I've written, God is good. So get creative with your mom and dad and try doing these things at home. Think of other things that you could do. Use things lying around the house and make yourself reminders of the word of God. Get your mom and dad to look the scriptures up. If you're scared, then look up scriptures that speak about faith. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of a sound mind. Have fun doing it. And guys, just have a great time studying God's word and just have it engraved on your heart and mind and have a great time doing this. Good morning, guys. Hope you've had a really great week and you've been really good. And you have been listening to mom and dad and you've been having fun with your friends and you've been playing and having a great week. Today, we're going to talk about the word of God and just some of the ways you can remember the word of God. As you can see over here, I've made a bookmark. And on the bookmark, I've placed the scripture, Psalm 150, verse 6, which says, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. You could do this at home. You can take a piece of scrap paper, cardboard, some ribbon or string, take some magazines, cut out some pictures, choose some scriptures, and you can make your own bookmarks and then you can use these bookmarks. You can use it in your Bible. You can use it in your reading books. You can use it for your school books. You can just use it generally for whatever you'd like to use it as a reminder of God's word. Then over here, I've created some stones that I've written some scriptures on and I've painted them. You could choose some stones out the garden or get your mom maybe to find some in the garden. Or perhaps you could buy a little packet of stones and you could paint them. And then you can, mom and dad can help you to find the scriptures. You can write it on the rocks and then you can remember them. And every time you look at them, you can remember what God says in his word. In over yeah, I've made a sign and this says, Whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. It's 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13. You can make a sign like this. Put pictures on it, draw, paint, whatever you like. And you could hang it up on your door or on the wall or in the passage. You could use press stick or a string, whatever you like. Just get mom and dad to maybe help you put it together. And you can do all kinds of creative things with this. 
the boys could make different ones to the girls and you could or you could do it all together as a family so here's an idea of also what you can do you can make a flag that you could place in a pot plant this one says philippians 4 verse 13 i can do all things through christ who strengthens me and on the jar i've placed a stick and i've said god is good you could do whatever you like you could wrap the jar in paper you could use a tin you could paint it you can wrap it in material you could do whatever you like and you just look up scriptures and then you place them in the pot plants or in the jar and then every day when you look at it it's a clear reminder of the word of god and what he says and then you can repeat them and memorize them so that you can remember the word of God. So when you go through difficult times and you're feeling sad, remember, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Have a great time doing this. Have fun. Ask your mom and dad for help and enjoy yourselves. And remember, God's word is our rock and our anchor. Talking about the word of God. There's many ways in which we can remember the Word of God. We can remember the Word of God by speaking it out loud, remembering the scriptures and what God has said by reading our Bibles. We can pray the Word. How can we remember the Word and pray the Word if we don't read the Word? So we need to remember to read our Bibles and read them often. We should sit down and have time with God every day. Some of the ways we can also remember the Word of God is by writing the scriptures down. You can take a piece of paper and you can write it and practice writing the Word of God until you can remember them. And then you can practice with mom and dad and see if you can remember where it's found and what it says. Here are some examples of what you can do. You can take the Word of God and you can have competitions to see who remembers the word and where it's found. This is an exciting way to remember the word of God. Maybe things that are special to you, like what do you remember about God? Is he good? Does he help us? What should we remember about God? The word of God is an amazing tool to use. We can remember when there's a lot of things going on and friends are being nasty and we just don't feel so good about ourselves. We can remember that we're made in God's image. We can remember that we are the light of the world and we can remember to be thankful. So if you look here, we've got thanks be to the God for his unspeakable gift, 2 Corinthians 9 verse 15. You can practice writing that out. Yeah, is another one. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Psalm 107 verse 1. And over here, we've got, And whatsoever ye do, in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, give, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Colossians 3 verse 17. Practice writing out lots of Bible scriptures. Write it on the rocks. Paint. Use creative ways of remembering. And have time with God. Practice, practice, practice. It's like your schoolwork. You get really good at counting. You get really good at maths. You get really good at school if you practice. And you do the same with your Bible. You practice knowing what does God's word say. It's very important that we practice what does God's word say. He is the light of the world, that he helps us when we are in trouble. Think about all the good things you know about God. We know that he is love. We know that his mercies endure forever. We know that God is light. We know that God is good. We know that he is our helper. And we know that he makes us strong when we depend on him. Like Philippians 4 verse 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It's very important that we learn the word of God and what it says. We need to know so that then the enemy comes with these lies that we know the truth. The truth is that Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. And when there's 
words that go through our heads and things that happen, we can understand that God's word still stands. Have fun doing these things. Practice, practice, practice. Practice makes permanent. Practice makes perfect. If we practice God's word, it will perfect us. It will make us more like Jesus. And then you will get to know God. You'll know all about him. Who is God? What does the Bible say about him? What do I understand about God? And you will know what to say to your friends when they ask you about God. Because you'll know what the word of God says. So practice, practice, practice. Find fun ways of memorizing the Bible. And you can show mom and dad just how clever you are and how much you love God when you know his word and you understand it. And if you struggle, ask mom and dad to help you to understand what does the word of God mean? What do these things mean? So that mom and dad can explain it to you and help you understand who God is. Do your homework with God. By studying the word and by practicing it, you are doing homework for God. You're getting to know him. And we need to know God to understand him. So have fun doing that and enjoy it. And all of you know that God will help you in every situation. So I trust that you will study the word of God and that you will find creative ways of remembering the words in the Bible and it will help you make good decisions. It will help you be kind. It will help you be more like Jesus. So remember, guys, study the word of God. Study it every day. Write it everywhere you go. Have little reminders everywhere you go so you remember what the word of God says.